guys, welcome to another process video. Today I am using a My Minds Eye collection that I've had in my stash for quite some time. I actually got this from Crafty Steels. If you have not heard of Crafty Steels, they are fantastic. You can get all kinds of collections and things like that for really, really low prices. Usually they're about 50% off, if not more. So that's where I usually buy some of my kits and things like that instead of paying full price you just have to wait a little bit longer and not get the stuff that just came out but you know that's okay with me it's still stuff that I like to use so I highly recommend that site it's a little addictive so you got to be careful because you get an email every day it's one of those sites so if you don't want to be tempted you want to make sure you order maybe here and there and then try not to get on their mailing list because like I said it's addictive and you'll want to buy all the time so anyway, back to the layout. First, you saw me putting that heart down. This was a heart that I cut out from, for a previous layout, and I liked the uh, negative space, so I wanted to use it for this particular layout, and I am just backing it, precariously backing it. I probably could just use a scissors. I'm not sure why. I was trying to use my trimmer. That made it probably more difficult, but I'm just backing it with this floral paper. And then I'm going to mount my photo on this white cardstock. And before I go farther on the layout, I just want to let you guys know that I have a fa new Facebook page and the link is below. So if you guys would like to subscribe, I'm kind of um, using that as my blog. Um, I used to have a blog and I, I actually still do, but I haven't written in, in a long time. I much rather do the videos and, and show pictures, I guess because I'm a visual person. So I haven't been using my or you know, using your writing on my blog very often. It's just probably not one of my favorite things to do. So I thought because I'm not doing that, I would do a Facebook page and do maybe a little bit smaller snippets, somewhat like a blog post, but a lot shorter. So if you guys are interested in seeing kind of what I've been doing scrappy wise, um, what I've been up to, some new videos that came out, maybe I've put, I'll put hauls and things up there or just shares, um, please go over there and like my page. And like I said, the link is below. I would love to see you guys over there and to, to keep up with me. And so back to the layout. Now I am just going through the scraps of paper that are in the collection and just clustering them around the, the, the photo. And I like that striped paper. Um, the, the floral paper in that collection is one of my favorites and probably my second favorite is that grayish, brownish, blackish polka dot that's over there on the right hand side. I really like that too. That's really just a really nice uh, piece of paper. So I'm just taking the little pieces um, and gluing them in little places. I'm using that pink paper. That was a cut apart sheet you saw when I flipped it over. There was like a little label, but I decided to use the back side instead because I liked how it anchored. I thought even though I liked the floral here in the background, it was a little busy. So I was trying to separate the photo a little bit more from the background. So I'm going to use that polka dot paper there to again separate it from the floral. And then I love this chipboard camera. So with this collection came with a large chipboard uh, piece of um, not a paper, but chipboard. And you can see it there on the left-hand side. So I'm just punching out various things from that chipboard piece to use on the layout. And I'm going to use that you and me tab on the right, this camera down here, and then I'm going to use this one little banner word phrase. So now I'm going to commit. I'm going to stick these down. And they're pretty sticky. I didn't feel like I needed to use any scotch quick dry on them. Now going back hopefully they don't fall off my layout but they were pretty sticky um, unlike the thickers they seem to, to go pretty well. So as I was doing this I felt like it just looked kind of plain I don't know the background was just a little too plain to me I have a problem with using this plain paper sometimes I feel like I need to do something to it so I decided that I would put a little bit of something on the background. I didn't want it to be stark white, so what I'm going to do is take this gesso and I'm going to add some of my pink mist to it just to tint it slightly so it's not stark white on the background. And then I'm going to take an almost dry or a dry baby wipe and just smush it all over the background to give it kind of like a cloudy look. And I think it's just going to make the background look a little bit better and I don't know, something about it just it, it's more pleasing to my eye. So I liked what it looked like better than having the stark plain pink background. So let me know what you guys think. Do you guys use um, the plain cardstock? Can you use it without putting anything on it? Do you feel like you always have to put something when it's the plain cardstock? Let me know. Um, I'm interested to see what you guys think. I actually really love looking at layouts that have the plain cardstock, but for some reason, I don't know what I'm making it. I feel like I need to do something. So anyway, this is what I am doing. I'm just going to pat this all around and I really wanted a very airy airy kind of look. I didn't want it to be a solid um, 
paint on the background so that's why I'm just using this in just splotching it down um, tamping it down and making it more um, cloudy like I guess so here I have put it down and I've dried it and again I think I need a little bit more so what I'm gonna end up doing is splattering some of my Heidi Swap color shine and I think this is the sweet cherry color and I don't remember what color it was that I used for the gesso but it was um, one of the lighter pink studio calico colors if you guys need to know what color that is let me know I should be able to find it in my stash but um, I can't quite remember which one I used for that but this one is sweet cherry so I'm just gonna dry that up with my heat tool and with a paper towel to get those little splatters up and again just adding just a little bit of more texture in the background once that's all dried I am going to put down my photo cluster again and then I'm gonna add some additional embellishments like brads and things like that all of the stuff that I'm using came in this my mind's eye collection kit so it's all from the same manufacturer I don't think I'm really using anything that's outside of this kit but if I do get to something I'll let you guys know so hopefully you guys are having a great Saturday or if you're watching this on a different day hopefully you're just having a great day um, we are been we have been very 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 busy we have been crazy I wanted to get some of these videos up sooner and more videos but ooh, the fall has just been really busy between parent-teacher conferences and Halloween and you know pumpkin patches and just all kinds of activities it's been really hard to even get some scrapbooking in so I'm hoping to get some more scrapbooking in and definitely more video editing time in because I do have some videos that I want to post for you guys some project life videos some more process videos like this and I also have lots of little um, organizational videos um, album shares for my December daily from 2013 and some other things so got lots and lots of things on my to-do list so be patient with me I will be getting them up um, I'm hoping to do still with my project life on Tuesday and the process videos on Saturday but I'm hoping to also sprinkle in some of those other things I just talked about so stay tuned for those if you're interested in any of them I will um, put um, a post on my Facebook page to let everybody know that the video is up or to let you know a video is coming and you can always come to my YouTube channel so if you haven't already please subscribe and if you like my videos please give me a thumbs up let me know you care and I'm gonna come back to the layout now so we are using or we me like me and my mouse in the pocket are going to be using some brads from the collection like I mentioned and some enamel dots that is one thing I did pull from my stash those enamel dots the blue and the kind of yellowy color were from my stash and what I do with enamel dots is I just take them all out of the packaging and then put them in a little container depending on how the packaging comes sometimes I will staple them to the cardboard so I know what brand but really I mean I think with enamel dots they're kind of generic I mean they have pretty colors and such but you know I don't know if it really matters too much which collection they come from you just find a color that you like and you use it it's not like the brads that are like more decorative or things like that I felt like I needed to didn't need to keep the packaging for those enamel dots but you know that's just how I do it and it seems to work better for me instead of having all these little packages um, I hate opening packages so I like to have them all open and ready at my fingertips so that's why I've kind of opened them up and put them in a little container so this is just part of a branding strip from one of the pages and I just trimmed it out so I can use that polka dot and it's the opposite of that white with the brownish black polka dots and it's so it's with white polka dots this time and I just really like how that anchored the bottom of this photo and now I am deciding what I want to do and I still feel like there's just something missing on this so what I'm gonna do is take this blue pen from Stampin Up and I believe it is in tempting turquoise and I'm going to outline all of the areas in the photo or not the photo but the um, the layout first I am going to put down a title and it's just gonna be what we were doing which is bark in the park it's a little animal uh, parade for our local humane society that we do every year and it's been a tradition I have been going before my daughter was born so my daughter is seven and let's see so we are probably going three or four years before she was born so you know we've been going for quite some time so it's it's pretty exciting it's just one of those things that we've made a tradition and we go every year and we usually take the dogs and right now we have two doggies and they come with us and my husband has either worked or been busy so it's mostly just me and my daughter that go to bark in the park but it's kind of cool to have those family traditions like that so now I am just finishing up with the title I use my ruler to place it I didn't have any wax paper at the time so I used my ruler to make sure I wanted it where it went before I stuck everything down and just kind of lined it all up 
and that is it for the thickers and these are just some Amy Tangerine thickers they're foam thickers and I like them the best they stick the best and I just like how they look that's probably my favorite kind of thicker is the foam the chipboard ones are nice too um, but I just like the foam ones a lot I like the texture that they bring to the page so here's where I am outlining with that blue tempting turquoise pen and I think I'm talking and doing this so sorry my hands are moving that's how I talk with my hands <laughs> so if you could see me right now I'd be talking with my hands so I'm just gonna outline everything just giving that an extra little something to it and I think it just adds a little extra and it keeps your eye in the page and I like how it looks on that pink background so I don't do a whole lot of that but I think that is pretty much it oh I'm gonna do some blue splatters I think just to tie in that bluish aqua turquoise color from my um, from the layout and the font and things like that and then I'm going to show you some close-ups so thank you guys so much for joining me um, if you have any questions leave them in the comments below if you like the video give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed please do so I had a great time and hope you did too and I hope you learned some things that you could use on your pages I will talk to you soon bye